Hey guys, welcome back to the Joanne's Place channel. If you don't already know who I am, my name is Marissa Lachlan and I am nutritionist at Joanne's Place. And I'm also a skincare junkie. I love to learn and talk and share about absolutely everything that I put into my body to help support a healthy, glowing skin, as well as what type of ingredients I put on my skin that are safe, effective, and natural. So today I wanna give you guys an update on how my skin journey is going and what one of my daily routines is and why you need to add it into your skincare ritual. You know that there's all those memes out there that say eight step skincare routine from top to bottom every single night. And truthfully, I am one of those people. I really enjoy taking care of my skin and this is actually something that I consider part of my self care ritual every single day and I really take pride in caring about my skin because I want it to be healthy looking, I want it to be youthful for as long as possible and I think it's really important to be prioritizing the ingredients that you put on your skin because they do impact the body internally as well. So over the last few months, I've been going through an entire skincare transformation. I have suffered with acne for many, many years, and I go through phases where it's really, really bad, it's bad, and then it's really good again. And at the beginning of January, I had awful skin, absolutely terrible skin. So there were many reasons as to why my skin was breaking out. I had hormonal imbalances, digestion, irritation, and inflammation. I was under a lot of stress, and I also decided to try a new skincare company, which turned out to be absolutely awful. I'm not gonna name it here, but I am gonna share with you some of the Holy Grail products I've been using that you can buy at Joanne's place that will actually make a positive change on your skin. So once my skin got terrible again, I decided to back off ingredients and go as simple, clean, and natural as I possibly could. So I've been trying the St. Anne's Spa Skin Nourishment line. I've been using their gel cleanser, their toner, and their Soothe Serum. Before I jump in to show you exactly what my skincare routine is right now, I want to just highlight a couple things about this brand. So first off, St. Anne's Spa is a local spa close to us. It's located in Grafton. And it's really cool because on our podcast, we sat down with Kelly O'Connor from St. Anne's Spa. She is a licensed esthetician and a brand rep for St. Anne's. And she shared some really amazing information about this company. So they actually grow their herbs and botanicas on their property and then send it to an herbalist and a formulist to put it together. I think it's really cool that they are using their own homegrown botanicals, which is amazing. They also use these products in their facials, which is says a lot about the quality of it because getting a facial is an entire experience. So I love that they use these. And the one other thing I absolutely love is that they are in glass bottles. This is very rare, I find these days, in terms of looking at quality products. A lot of companies try to keep their product cost low by putting it in plastic bottles. And a lot of the plastic bottles that are on the market do leach other toxic ingredients that can be very detrimental to hormone health and liver health. So I absolutely love that these are in glass bottles. And I love just how simple and clean their ingredients are. So some ingredients that you will find in their cleansers are rose, marshmallow, calendula, which is incredibly soothing if you have rosacea or any type of redness on the skin. There's chicory, which is very balancing for the pH of the skin. Rosemary, which helps to absorb oil on the skin. Grapefruit, cypress. So it's a very, very clean, natural, simple formulation, which I absolutely love because I needed something that was just simple. So I've been loving their gel cleanser and I always, always do double cleansing. If you're not somebody who double cleanses, you need to start doing that. It makes such a difference. You think that the first time around of cleansing your face, you get all of your makeup and debris off, but once you start double cleansing, you'll realize that there's still a little bit that's always lingering. So I double cleanse with this. After I cleanse, I always spray with the toner. I will say the pump in this shoots out like crazy. You'll see in a minute when I show you. So I actually put this on a cotton pad and then I rub it all over my face. 
Now in the podcast, Kelly Mendes doubles as a makeup setter, which is really cool. If you're somebody who likes to add that in. And then lastly, as I mentioned, the drench serum. I really like this because this does contain C buckthorn and that is an omega fatty acid, which is very, very soothing for the skin, especially if you have acne. It also has evening promos, which is really good for aging skin, different essential oils. There's also pomegranate and barrage oil. So I absolutely love this. And after I apply this, I always shade roll. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to use a shade roll because I think there's a lot of misconception of why to use it and how to use it. So I'm gonna give you all of the details on that as well. So let's get started and start washing the face. Okay, skin is nice and clean. Now I'm going to go in with the toner. So I just get a cotton round. As you can see, it does squirt out pretty quickly. And then I just wipe all over my face. This really just helps to clear off any makeup. It helps to tighten up the pores. Once you add hot water to your face, obviously all the pores start to open up. So when you're cleansing those pores and removing the dirt, it's good to tighten it up with a toner after. And to be completely honest, I never used to be somebody who used a toner, but it's really helped me to clear my acne and reduce my pore size. And it just feels really refreshing after. And as you can see, there is some makeup still on there. So even though I double cleanse, there's just some areas that you just might not get deep into, like along the nose, or if you wear eyebrow pencil, Sometimes it's hard to get out of the eyebrows or sometimes if you have bronzer on your neck. I let that dry and just take a few breaths. Like I said, I really like to use this time as a meditative self-care practice. So never rush your skincare. It's important to take this time to just slow down and show your skin some love. Okay, so before I go in and apply the serum and do jade rolling, I am going to use one other thing and it's actually a facial brush. So we sell these at Joann's as well. And I really like to use this one to two times a week just to get rid of any dry skin or any dead cells that are just lingering away. And I also really like to use this to help wake up the lymphatic system. So I always start just brushing down, just this light, light pressure helps to activate the lymphatic system and get things moving. And when we start to do jade rolling, I'm gonna talk more about the lymphatic system, but we always wanna make sure things are moving. So I always start on the right side and I just work my way up. Just slow, light brush strokes. Again, I like to close my eyes and just do this as a meditative practice. This is a very gentle brush, so it's not scraping the skin by any means. It's really just taking off that layer. And then I go over to the other side. That's it, super easy. It's just really clearing off that dead skin, leaving a nice, fresh finish. This is not a rough brush. It's a very, very soft brush, and it's also just very stimulating for the lymphatic system. So now that I'm done with that, I am going to take the St. Anne's Soothe Serum. And again, I mentioned this is the one I'm using by them because this is more for acne-prone skin. So just two pumps. A little goes a long way, as you can see, I've been using this for several weeks and I've barely gotten into it. A little goes a long, long way. So it's got a beautiful orange color to it. That is the sea buckthorn oil and just rub it in between your hands. And whenever I apply a serum that has essential oils in it, I always take my time and rubbing it, making sure it's nice and warm. Take a big inhale before you apply the skin. A lot of the time they'll have like a lavender in there or something that's just very calming. So I like to do that. And when I put a serum on my face, I always pat it on first. Pat and hold. Pat and hold. 
Don't drag it just yet. Get it nicely all over your face and neck. A lot of people forget about the neck. We want the neck to be hydrated and soft and luscious just as much as we want the face. So once I get to the neck part, I try to start a lymphatic drainage already. So that's just moving the lymphatic system. And if you're not familiar with the lymphatic system, the main areas in which we would have that draining from is along the face, down the back behind the ears, along this neck muscle, all the way down to the tip of collarbone, across the collarbone and it'll drain down, and then also slightly down to the middle of the chest and it will come across the armpit. Everything from our face comes down and eliminates from our armpits. So we wanna make sure that the lymphatic system is open and moving, because a lot of the times the neck is where the clogged lymphatic system is. You know, when you have a swollen lymph node or you have a lot of toxic buildup, you always feel the swelling that happens usually under the neck or around the throat. So I just always start at the neck and then I always work my way up. So with skin, we want to make sure that we're pulling up. We don't want to pull down. Whenever you're applying product, think of lifting. That's what we want. We want that skin to be lifted nice and tight, nice and firm. So you always want to drag that product up, not down, up. Same in the forehead. Pull it up. Light, light, light pressure here. Also, I really like to go into the eyes and do some facial massage here. So I just close my eyes and run my fingers very gently around in each direction. This is another very soothing meditative practice that really just calms the mind. And then switch directions. This is also very soothing if you ever have sinus congestion. This helps to break up the sinus and the inflammation in that area and just promote better drainage. Just making sure this is all nicely rubbed in. And you can just leave it at that. Even just applying your oil in a much slower practice and more intentional can be enough for a lymphatic drainage. But I really like to add in the jade roll as well. Not only for the lymphatic benefits, but also because it helps to penetrate the product into the skin better. And that's what you essentially want to happen. You want that oil or the serum or whatever you're applying to penetrate into the skin to help heal, you know, dark spots, acne, things like that. So jade rolling. I'm gonna show you how to do this properly because I see a lot of people that don't do it properly. So first off, I'm gonna show you the nose, okay? This is not lymphatic drainage. This is, you're basically doing the opposite effect because I told you earlier, our lymph nodes are along our face and down our neck. So we want to push the lymph towards those nodes and help to enhance detoxification. So when we're moving things back and forth, you're just pushing it around. And also when I mentioned in about applying product to pull up to help keep the face lifted, you want to do the same thing with your jade roll. You should always be rolling in an upright direction unless you're on the neck. Sometimes people will go up and down and this is just to allow for the lymphatic system to open up. We already did that with the brush. So if you don't have the brush, that's okay. You can just start by doing those openings on the neck, across the chest, just to get those channels open so that lymphatic can drain properly. So you start on the right side of the face. This isn't essential, but I think it's an important thing to start on one side then the other rather than going back and forth. This just promotes a better drainage. You also always start from the bottom and work your way up. And you always wanna use your hand as support. You should never just be using the one, always use both hands. So I just place it here, I start underneath the jaw and pull up. Very, very light pressure, okay? I go over each spot about two or three times and I just continue to pull up. I just have my hands here for support so that there's not a lot of pulling. Again, this is very light, I'm trying to slow down this process. Now the opposite end of a jade roller that's smaller, this is for those more sensitive areas that you need to get into. So going underneath the eye and pulling up, underneath the eye and pulling up, or along the temples, and then also along the eyebrow. So soothing. Then we're back up here. We're at the forehead. We're drawing up and out. 
up, out. Now when you get to the forehead, you're at the very center and you naturally want to keep going over to the other side. Go back over to the left side and start there. Switch the hands. Get used to having things in both hands. <clears throat> This is also very great if you have sinus congestion because you're moving this lymph that's built up here and clearing out those sinuses. There's not a wrong way to do this. The only thing I will say is just don't roll back and forth, okay? You can take as much time as you want. Once you've rolled everything out, you come back over to the right side and start at the top. We're gonna trace down the side of the face so that we can promote that lymph to drain, coming all the way down towards that ear. Then we're gonna pull down that neck muscle so we come to the tip of the collarbone. And then we're going to just draw it out towards the armpit. I like to do this three times on each side. And then over to the left. And that's how you properly use a jade roller. One other common myth I really want to highlight about jade rollers is do not put them in your fridge or freezer. When you put them at cold temperatures, especially in the freezer, they can start to degrade the crystal that your jade roller is. So mine is the actual jade, but you can also get rose quartz, obsidian, uh, amethyst. There's a couple other like tiger's eye, but the most common ones you'll see are the green jade and the rose quartz. So with those, don't put them in the freezer. And people put them in the freezer to help with the cooling effect on the face. Rather than damaging their crystal, just run it under cold water. That way it's not in the cold for a prolonged period of time, but still give you the added benefits of having the cooling effect on the stone. So that's it. When you finish, this is very easy to clean. I just wipe it off with the toner pad that I had and that's it, then I just store it. You could do this every day, but I do this around two times a week. I use the cleanser and the toner every single day and I've noticed such a difference in my acne and the redness in my skin. And then I use this about three or four times a week. So if I'm doing the jade roller, I would definitely use that. Or if I want no other products on top of this, like say it's a Sunday and I just want to bring some hydration to my skin, I'll just apply this for the day and leave it. Because my foundation has a lot of oils in it, I find it to be too oily using this product or any, any oil underneath my makeup. So I love this when I'm using jade rolling. It smells amazing and it's very soothing for acne prone skin. So if you guys are looking to make the switch to natural skincare, I would definitely recommend Sane and Spa. As I mentioned, ingredients are very clean, natural and simple. And that's what I really appreciated about this line. So as you can see, my skin is starting to really improve. I will put a picture here of what my skin looked like at the beginning of February and how damaged it was. Now Saint Anne Spa has really helped to clear this acne up, reduce the fine lines, reduce the scarring, and I am very, very impressed. All these products are available at Joanne's Place, so please be sure to pop in, and then also make sure you like this video. We wanna make sure that this is actually what you guys wanna see, these quick tutorials and also product feedback. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Leave a comment below and tell us what your favorite skincare company is because we would love to check it out, and stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.